Is everyone on here? I assumed Alex was going to start the meeting, but I don't see him. So let me grab the agenda and we'll get started. Okay, in the chat. There is the link to the agenda. Go ahead and add your name to the attendees list. All right. So let's start at the top. So we kind of have these current work in progresses going on. Um, the first one was the database additions to the landscape white paper. Is there an update for that? No? Okay. Quinton, I saw you highlighted that. Did you have something you wanted to add to that? Silence is a no. Sorry, I was on mute. Uh, no, no, I was just reading it actually to see what the current status was. I don't have any in useful comments. Um, are there other people that are able to um, possibly contribute to this if we're if we're kind of blocked on it? Volunteers. No? Okay. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Uh, performance and benchmarking. I had thought there was an update to this. It looks like the last status was provided on November 13th. Um, does anyone have an update on this either? I thought Alex was working on this. Alex is, but I thought someone else was helping contribute to it beyond Alex. I think Tyler Guzan, yeah. It looks like there haven't been any formal updates. Does anyone have anything to add to this or has reviewed it? Don't see a lot of comments in the doc, okay. Should maybe create a, a date we want that reviewed by. Yeah, I think let's let's add uh, at night as well. Should be time to get all this stuff done because it's uh, been dragging on for a long time. I can barely hear you, Quentin. I don't know if it's just me or everyone's having the same problem. Oh, it's it's probably me. Um, what I was saying is let's try and get that all done in two weeks' time. Two weeks, okay. Same with the database, do you think? Yep. That's stringing out, okay, perfect. Shall I add those action items? Thank you. Um, all right, next on the list. Boy, we're flying through here. Um, um, for, the, for the database, I remember last time there were some comments in last meeting. Uh, for the update that, it's, that uh, uh, Sunu gave, he's going to update. I don't know if he has updated it yet. Here's the update from Sugu. Let me see. I'm in the document. I do see some comments from the 10th which would have been before the last meeting. I mean, I think we need to put all of these on a trajectory of having a, you know, time that we, we try to close it out by. Um, looks like there's some notes here at the end with some questions. 
um, things that still need to be added, consistently, consistency and eventual consistency. Do we need to discuss that versus partition tolerance? So there's a bunch of unopened questions, unanswered questions in here that I think we need to address. Maybe we can put a timeline on addressing those in the next two weeks. I don't think um, rushing to finish this when it looks like there's still a lot of open questions is appropriate. So I'm gonna just put a checkpoint that we review at least the considering these bullet points at the very end of the document, whether or not those should be included as part of the landscape. Are there any objections to that? I would suggest we just try and draw a line in the sand as to the scope and, and get version one finished and published, and then we can you know, add and extend it afterwards. Okay, I'm gonna add that. So we want to publish version one by maybe a month from now. I know there was some comment asking Sugu to move some of the content related to Kubernetes to the use case document that Luis is working on. That was I, the last meeting. Just don't know what's the status of that. I see the local PVs and in terms of the test, is that Jing what you're referring to? Yeah, that's probably it. Yeah, yes. Okay. Is Luis on since he's leading the use case effort? Wants to comment on that? No, it does not look like Luis is on. Okay. I will specifically call that out. Thank you for by maybe version one by KubeCon Europe. Seems given the uh, cadence that we're currently on, I'm not sure we'll get it done before then. Um, address. horrible this morning. Okay, there we go. All right. Um, all right. Is there anyone who else was working on the use case document who can comment on that? I, Luis is not on. I'm wondering if this is pretty stagnant. I think if... let's let's also add an item to the agenda to the tech leads need to attend this meeting or or at least excuse themselves if they can't. Uh, I don't think Luis has been on here for many, many months. Um, so, uh, Luis actually was on last time. I think oh, last time, yeah, yeah, I remember uh, Luis and uh, Alex said they are going to have a meeting to sync up on the use case document to sort it out so that his PR can be merged because Luis's PR has been uh, there for quite a while. There are a lot of comments. I thought they are going to have a meeting between the two of them to sort out things, but since oh, okay. they're both, well, both I'm not here, so I'm not sure. <laughs> yeah, it was like identify like the base cases. We were going to try to remove vendor uh, specifics from the actual use cases and put those in an examples document and then identify all the use cases we wanted to kind of. Oh, there, Alex is there. Hello, everyone. Hi, Alex. I am terribly sorry I am late. I, uh, it was a bit of a funny story. I got locked outside my house and had to wait for my wife to come home from work to let me in again. So, oh. there you go. <laughs> That's okay. I went ahead and got started. So, um, awesome. so we, I'll just bring you up to speed. We're in the meeting minutes document. Um, we have a pretty small attendance today, Alex. So we don't really have an update from the database editions. There are a bunch of bullets at the very end for possible suggestions. Um, Quentin suggested maybe we talk about, you know, limiting scope. I think that's reasonable so we can get a version one 
uh, published, and I put that maybe we could publish that by uh, KubeCon EU. So that's end of March. Thank you. Yeah, so, so j just a quick update on that. Suku had prepared the doc and I've just reviewed it and, I'm, um, and I've just created a quick comparison table that I just want to add in. So what I'd like to suggest is that we that we move um, the content that uh, Sugu created into the white paper doc, uh, into the, the, the storage landscape doc, um, and, um, and, and republish the storage landscape um, as, as a version two of that doc, um, and this time get, um, get the CNCF to, to sort of run their marketing engine over that. Uh, so I spoke to, I pinged Chris Sanacek and he said to raise a, um, a service desk request um, and then they can kind of do a, a, a press release or, or uh, and, and, and pay for some marketing to kind of beautify the document on the website. Um, now, for that, I was just going to quickly ask um, uh, maybe Xing if, if you have some time to, to um, just give a quick review of the, um, of the current uh, storage landscape doc, um, specifically around the management interfaces, because I, I was just re-scanning through it just to make sure everything was still up to scratch. Um, and I think the management interfaces where we talk about, you know, um, flex volumes and Docker volume plugins and things like that is, is probably um, a little superseded with all the new developments with, with CSI and, and maybe we want to kind of deprecate some of those older bits. Um, okay, yeah, so. sure. Um, take a look. I would love it if, I mean, we don't, I don't think we have, I mean, we have the comments in here, of course, in the doc, but Alex, I think we need like a minimum number of tech leads and co-chairs to also review it and to notate that within the document. So we have consensus because it doesn't look like it's gotten, unless the, unless the comments have all been resolved, I, I think it would be worthwhile to, to kindly ask that we all review it in depth um, and provide an approval chain. What do you think about that? Yeah, that, that, would, be, that would be worthwhile too. Um, I, I don't know, maybe Quinton if, or 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 because um, I know Quinton has some uh, has some feedback on the doc already. Quinton's on. Sorry, sorry, Alex, I missed your question. Um, I, I was just we were talking about um, getting feedback on the database doc, um, and I thought you had some feedback that you had already fed back to to Sugu as well. Um, is, is that kind of resolved at this stage? I don't know. I did give him some um, many, many months back, and uh, I, I'm happy to reread the document now and add any comments I might have. All right. Cool. All right. So let's let's do that then. Um, and I'll I'll put in my comments as well. So we'll we'll have at least those those set of comments. Okay. All right. Is it reasonable um, to go through those in the next couple of weeks with the idea of publishing it by KubeCon, or are you wanting to get that done like much sooner? What's your thought there? No, I, I, I think I think we we should be able to do it in the next couple of weeks. Honestly, the 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 comments the Sugo has sort of reworked the doc based on the comments already, and and I've already gone through through it, and it, it does look um, it does look fairly fairly ready. Um, I think we just need to add one table, which which I'm just going to suggest putting in to Sugu now, and, and I think we're okay then. So, assuming there aren't any other sort of major comment items, um, I think we can merge it into the V2 doc, um, into the V2 landscape doc, and then um, if we update the um, the management interface section just to sort of bring it up to to make it current, then I think 
we're kind of done on that. So, so that would be a nice thing to have for, for KubeCon. Yeah, I think it's a very good idea. Perhaps start getting the marketing machinery moving in the meantime. Uh, we can have them a final draft in two weeks time, it sounds like. And then hopefully we can have some of the marketing stuff released well before KubeCon. Um, so that by the time people get to KubeCon, they've read it, ideally. Yep, I agree. Hey, sounds good. I have it as an action item. Alex, for you to create the service desk ticket, and then Jing to re-review the management interfaces, and us all, tech leads, participants, contributors, to, to review the document and add any final requests within the week. Yes, that's right. Um, I did also have um, another, just another quick update. So, so I, I took on um, sort of a semi second role to review the the Dragonfly project and, and provide some some uh, some feedback because um, uh, Jiang uh, on the talk sort of asked if, if we could if we could produce some feedback. So um, I went through and re-reviewed the presentation that they had given us and went through the YouTube video. Um, and I also spent some time sort of installing it and, and doing some basic testing, not, you know, um, a huge uh, level of, of in-depth testing, but sort of general functionality and general failover tests. Um, and I think in general, it looks, it looks fairly fine. There were, there was just one set of comments around um, uh, enforcing uh, block checksums um, and the choice of the, the checksum and encryption algorithms, um, which I'm going to um, add into the to the GitHub PR um, for the uh, incubation uh, uh, requests for Dragonfly, um, and um, and I think I think we can close that off in terms of in terms of action points. Um, so I will. Um, I will I will raise those points on the PR. It would be nice if just somebody double check the points that I raise and just make just make sure I wasn't saying anything too obviously ridiculous. But um, I think we can close that off. And I also then noticed that um, Michael Michael is on the call, so we we have had um, uh, a request um, to help with the um, to help with the graduation of uh, of harbor um, now harbor is is a, a fairly complex project with a lot of moving parts and um, there was consensus to maybe split out different components of the project to be reviewed by um, by different sigs um, the first sig that, that did the review was the was the sig runtime I, I believe a few days ago. Um, that, that is correct, Alex. So, 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 Michael, um, since you're on the call, we we just said that um, maybe you just give us a a, a brief outline um, of of what of what we think is needed. Um, we're we're and then maybe in the next meeting, we might um, we might uh, schedule a presentation once the Sigrun time has provided their their first set of feedback. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, thank you, Alex. So um, essentially, from a, from a harbor perspective, we presented to the technical oversight committee um, uh, of uh, where harbor is today and our request to be a graduate project within the CNCF ecosystem. Um, that review went well. And the next step now that we have the special interest group was to do some due diligence from the from the six as well. Uh, so Jean was the initial uh, person that did the the reviewed or due diligence talk from from the TOC, and um, the, you know the, I, I don't know if we got a thumbs up or not, but you know he ag agreed with the content that was there um, and called the DD solid. Um, so now the next step was to look at SIG runtime, um, SIG storage, as well as potential SIG security to also go ahead and read 
our documentation that we have provided and give some answers in a due diligence uh, document that Quinton created. Um, so what we're looking for from, from, the, from, from your interest group is potentially a point person that will be, that will dedicate some of their time to go through both the due diligence document, which is about 30 pages, um, some diagrams in there, but definitely a lot of content and, and start looking into if there is anything that storage um, has questions, concerns, or, or anything that they want to discuss further and potentially deep dive into that. So, so I guess that, that's the first step. We're more than happy to show up at your next meeting and do a short presentation of Harbor. We've already done it a couple of times, so uh, other you, you guys might be able to get it from the TOC meeting as well, but uh, we don't have a problem to, to show up. Uh, it's up to you guys in terms of how you want to proceed. Well, All right. Cool. And my apologies again for having dropped the ball on this review. Uh, I know I started looking at it in November and many things have happened to me between then and now. Um, all I can do is apologize for the delay. That, that's okay, Quinton. It, it, you know, it was, yeah, it, it was bad timing because we had Cubicon, then there was Thanksgiving, then Christmas holiday season. So we're just picking it up right now, making sure that, uh, you know, we, we basically do our finish of due diligence so we can go back to the TOC, either with thumbs up or thumbs down or whatever ends up happening. Okay, um, so we don't have we don't have all of the leads here, but um, what I can I think Aaron, what we should do is we can maybe ping out an email to see if we um, if one or two of the tech leads um, uh, are available to to do this. Um, so and by the way, if you, if you give me edit permissions to your doc agenda for today, I, I, I didn't have even the chance to do a suggestion. I can add all the links here so that if someone is doing this offline, they know what the documents I'm talking about. Ah, good call. Or if you could, um, if you could uh, maybe put it in the chat and I can cut and paste it in. Yeah, I'll, I'll drop them in the chat. Easier. Cool. Um, Um, okay, so, so we'll, we need to find one or two tech leads that, that can, that can have a look at the document from a, from a, from a storage perspective. And then, um, perhaps if there are, uh, if there are questions, I mean, honestly, even if there aren't questions, it, it might be a good idea, Michael, if, if we could, um, for the next six storage meeting, if we could, if we could schedule maybe a, like a twenty minutes or half an hour um, presentation to just go through it, um, yeah, absolutely. Or at least you, you can talk us through some of the stuff because I think the wider community might might benefit from that too. Absolutely, we can do that. Awesome. Okay, I'll put that on next week next two weeks agenda i've added it to the notes here but i'll make sure it gets pushed up all right thanks for dropping those Doctor. and if you and if you guys can shoot me a note in terms of who's doing the review that'd be great if, if you guys do identify a point person as i see sad's on the call Saad, are you able to do that review uh i can certainly take a look let's start with a uh presentation next time. Um, I'm not sure if I'm fully qualified for it, but that'll give me a good sense of that. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys on the 5th of February. That'd be awesome. Thanks, Michael. Thanks. Um, Amy, are you on the call? Yes, how can I help? Um, I j just since we're going through the projects, um, I just had one question. I I heard I can't remember where I heard it from, honestly, that um, Rook is considering a, a graduation request. Yes, uh, that's correct. Um, how, how is this being scheduled? Because uh, I, I haven't seen anything from a six 
storage point of view. So I was just wondering, do we need to line up somebody to do some work here? So um, one of the things that I'm asking for Rook is to be able to have them put in a request for review from uh, you guys. So at this point, it's basically kind of up to the projects to be able to come to you and be able to say, hey, we'd like you to review us. Um, if you want to be able to change that, if you want to make it like slightly more scheduled, we can. But at the moment, I'm kind of leaving it towards whenever the projects think that they're ready for review. OK. All right, OK, cool. So what you do see is that there is a note for like a February graduation request over in the public TOC working document. And that's because they asked and I just put a note in there to be able to say, oh, right, we should do that. Well, I know they've been right. in the queue for a while, so, and they're probably shooting towards KubeCon. So if we could help, I mean, I'd be happy to reach out to the project and ask them, you know, to make sure they're on our schedule and giving us enough time to review so it doesn't stall them out. That reasonable? Yeah, if you'd like, that would definitely be helpful. Um, my last conversation with them was like, hey, look, track for like the end of uh, January, early February, and you're probably in good shape. And here we are. So. Okay. Perfect. So are you taking that one as an action then, Erin? Yeah, I'll do that. I'll reach out to them. Okay. I know that they were going through a governance review, and I think it would be you know, important for us to weigh in on that um, changes made from their, their original proposal. So. I will take that. Thank you for updating that. I was just going to do that. So, so then um, I just wanted to give a, a, a quick update on the benchmarking and performance. Um, so that did sort of stall over Christmas. Um, we've started to, um, to put some work into it and I'm hoping the, 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 the team, certainly um, Nick Connelly has just replied, um, but we're hoping to have um, a call this week um, to, uh, to sort of jumpstart the, the document again. So hopefully we'll have uh, an update uh, for, the, for the 5th of February team. Um, again, it, it would be absolutely awesome to have something that we can show at Cuba and talk about at Cuba. Okay, I added that to the notes. Cool. All right, what else? Um, I will not be here on the February 5th call. I have a meeting off-site, so just FYI. Um, so, by, by the way, I misspoke earlier when I said February 5th. It actually looks like you guys meet the second and fourth Wednesday, right? So that will be the 12th. My bad, if oh, I... Yes. <laughs> yes, you're right. <laughs> I'd go put it in my calendar now to make sure I attend the next one. <laughs> All right. right. Great. All right, I updated the notes as well to the correct way. So we were, when you joined Alex, we were on the storage use case mm -hmm. updates. And I have, Luis is not on, I have not. I know that there was gonna be a meeting to talk about what use cases we have and pull out the vendors and put those in as examples. Did that meeting ever happen? No, and I I did chase Louisa yesterday, but but didn't hear back. So um, I'm a little lost, honestly, on that. Um, I'll uh, I'll uh, send him another reminder on Slack and see if he's around. Maybe he's offline for whatever reason. I don't understand why. Okay. Um. Um, because ironically, one of the one of the other things that um, that Sugu did as part of the database document is is actually write up quite a quite a good um, section of what I would say should go into the database use case example. Um, so I, I'm 
I'm thinking we can actually have like a database use case example as a as a as a template using using a lot of that content. So we should uh, we should try and move that forward. Um, did we have any other items? I think the last one is the sandbox um, proposals. There is a meeting tomorrow with the SIG leads to kind of maybe spearhead some of that and the interactions between SIGs and the TOC. So I think if anyone has comments they want to contribute to that before that meeting, it would be useful. Yes. So, so Amy, I don't know if you want to maybe just give a quick background to the call of what the, this new meeting that we're put in the diary is. Uh, are you talking about the TOC and SIG chairs meeting? Yeah. Yes. Um, so I'm actually pulling together like some pieces for that today. Um, and part of that is being able to have a week, uh, sorry, a monthly, call, not a weekly call, um, around like space for both the TOC members and the SIG chairs to be able to have conversations about, hey, what is our process anyways? Um, like being able to review, we've got a couple different kind of project flow charts right now of like, how do we get towards like being able to have each thing have the same answer. So that's part of the agenda tomorrow as well. Um, and frankly, any other items of business that all of you want to be able to cover. I just wanted to make sure that we had like a scheduled time to be able to meet for that. And that'll be repeating every um, month on the fourth Thursday. An overview, anything else? Thank you, Nails. Yep. Okay, cool. So, so, so I guess we're hoping that through this meeting we'll actually start to formalize some of the processes for yeah. how, the, how the talk and the SIG will be interacting and, and some of the processes for project reviews, etc. And part of it is also just being able to surface questions that have come up as we've gone through the process of being able to form SIGs. Like, uh, for example, one question is, do we have process of performing working groups and um, like within the SIGs? And the answer right now is no, no, we really don't. Um, other mm -hmm. than like, oh, people want to do that. That's cool. So uh, in some way we'll, we'll be leaning on like the more established SIGs like storage, like security to be able to kind of help guide the way, but each SIG kind of has different goals and different desires. Yep, makes, makes lots of sense. Yeah, that'd be um, helpful. Okay, so actually, I just did have one last update then, um, or, or one last question for the for the group. So um, we have uh, a number of the sponsors are, and end users um, are reorganizing the Cloud Native Storage Day in uh, for the Amsterdam uh, KubeCon, um, and I'm and I'm working on. Um, uh, putting some of the content together and some of the content plan for the, for the for the for the group, um, and one of the one of the things I'd really like to do is 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 perhaps for the SIG or or some community members to to have um, uh, either some lightning talks or a full sort of half hour session um, to uh, to uh, to go through um, perhaps an update. <laughs> In CNS Day, um, so I was wondering if if anybody had any any specific ideas um, which which we could discuss now. Um, otherwise, um, maybe raise those ideas in the in the in the mailing list or in the Slack channel, and it would be really good to have some some representation. I know that there are some sort of logistical issues because there's obviously um. Um, a number of uh, sort of uh, Kubernetes SIG face to faces and things like that, which, which are happening at the same time. Um, but I think I think if we can get the CNCF SIG to, to be represented and maybe talk about the updated landscape document, or talk about maybe you know the, the benchmark document or the, the use case documents, for example, that are in play, um, or even just to give maybe a, an overview of the projects that. Um, that we have worked on or or, or, or reviewed recently, um, I think that would be uh, that would be a really good uh, option to get in front of um, to get in front of a number of end users and stimulate some discussion. And it might be worthwhile if we would go back and maybe 
look at some of the questions that were asked in San Diego to make sure, you know, we've addressed those from the last time. I don't know. I mean, I think, I think we should do, if we have a use case doc and I think it's ready, I think that would be immensely helpful because that was, I asked, I was asked that question many, many times. How do I even get started? What am, what do I know to use? And not just for storage. Um, you know, I heard that in a lot of talks and if we can give an update on the landscape, well, I think those are all great ideas, but yeah, we could collaborate in the Slack channel and everyone can weigh in. I've, I've added those two suggestions to the agenda, um, but people who have edit rights, um, please feel free to drop things in there you think we should cover. Yes, good stuff. That was, uh, that was uh, the last thing I had on my list. Anybody else? Um, does anybody else uh, have any other items to, to raise? Okay. Yes. Silence. <laughs> <laughs> so, so maybe we get we get uh, fifteen minutes back. Thanks all. Thanks, Thanks, everyone. Thanks. Thanks, everyone. Thank you all. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.